Opening day, year three. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Kansas City Royals franchise here on MLB The Show 23. I'm DFG. And for our third season here in the franchise, we will face off against the Seattle Mariners, a team that right now will have playoff aspirations, a little bit like us. Now, I don't think we're really, um, you know, destined for the playoffs. I don't think we're, we're guaranteed. But I do think that we could challenge to be um, a playoff contender, maybe sneak into the wild card. Luis Castillo will be on the mound for the Mariners today. Tough pitcher that we're going to have to face here. Good, um, good statistics from last year, 3.64 ERA. So it's not going to be easy against their ace. But let's see how we get on against the Mariners here today. Two up, uh, two down now for... Pasquantino as he pops that up, but that's a three up, three down inning for Castillo, and they're going to take care of that to go to the bottom of the first. Our ace this year, of course, is Brady Singer, who has really had a good year last year. You look at those numbers, you might even say he had a better year than Castillo last year, and uh, really someone that uh, I wanted to build this Kansas City Royal team around, and he gets a start here on opening day. Pop out Akil Badu to start the day on a 2-2 count from Singer. Ooh, nice circle change there low. Julio Rodriguez here in the three uh, in the three slot for the Mariners. And now Brady Singer is got three and two and might just end the inning with a strikeout here. And indeed he will. The slider gets it. Found it difficult to really do anything against uh, Castillo here today. And Telez is going to ground out in his first uh, at-bat as a Royal. That's going to get past third base. And Cal Rally is going to give Seattle Mariners their first hit of the day. And Ty France, that's going to be enough for him to get to first. Stopped in the infield, but it's an infield hit for France. A lot more trouble here in the second for Singer. That's a fly out, but it will bring home a runner. And that is two down, but it's the first uh, score here. And Pasquantino is going to take care of that. So one run here, run in by Seattle as they take the lead here in the second. I'm having so much trouble with that circle change as well. Another three off, three down for Castillo. And Singer comes back with a zero here in the third is, uh, this time. So that'll end the third. Having some legitimate struggles against Castillo. But uh, that one actually might get down. It will indeed. Our first hit of the day is a Christian Arroyo hit to right field. Arroyo at first. His first hit as a Royal, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is it's 3 and 1, and Perez almost had a chance. That's center, center. He should destroy that. 3-2 now. And there's another foul ball. Hopefully we can get some offense going. I've had... It's been a while since I've played MLB, so I'm not surprised that I'm having some problems with our offense. But that will ground out to the short, and that'll bring up the bottom of the fourth. Nice high fast ball there from Singer. One down here in the fourth. And that one should have been crushed. Singer gets away with that one. Center, center slider. And then comes back with the circle change low. And that's his second strikeout of the day. And Guriel's going to ground to wit. And that's going to end the fourth here as Seattle still has a 1-0 lead here. Another new signing, Anthony Santander up now. 2-2, two two, but 
That one's going to fly out. We continue to struggle to get uh, find any grass with our batters. Honestly, thought we'd be better offensively. Uh, that's a slider high that Young actually takes. And that's a strikeout number three. And that's going to end the fifth as he flies out to right field. Only one hit on the day. Tyler Freeman. And he's going to get that back up in the middle. It is blocked by the shortstop, but he's going to reach. That's our second hit of the day. Tyler Freeman on the infield hit. Can't believe he didn't get that one on the low sinker, but the fastball gets him. I just cannot. I don't know what's going on. That's a nice hit in the left center field for Akil Badu. The singers left up a good few hits here today, but uh, it's been okay, you know, keeping runs off the board. That one's low, so Crawford is going to walk. So now he's got two on, nobody out here in the six, so things might get a little bit difficult here for singers. He might leave up some... Uh, runs here but that one uh that one should have been called a strike for me that's one and two now possibly should have been a strikeout if he got the right call in that second uh that second um pitch but still one and two here low with gets it to the second but he won't get the man at the first so the double play was available but we we screw it up well, looks like we'll get it this time, and we will. That'll end the six. Nice play by the Royals. That looks like it got pretty good contact, but it's going to be easily caught in the outfield. And seven innings and no score for us so far. New pitcher, Lucas Sims in the game, and he's going to get a strike out here on the fastball up high. A new pitcher for us. And there's another strikeout for Sims. That's two up, two strikeouts. Make that three. Lucas Sims ends the seventh with three consecutive strikeouts. Oh, boy. And here comes one of our new signings that will get us on the board. Rowdy Telez with a home run here. 377 feet, a new first baseman for us, who's actually more likely going to be playing DH for us, as Vinny Pasquantino will play first. And he's going to get us on the board here. Soto home run. Oh, Sims with another strikeout here, this time in the eighth. And the run seems to have ended now for Sims as Nick Sogard is going to get a hit into left field. And Akil Badu goes back the same way. And now that's going to probably bring in a run here. And indeed it will. So doubles back to back for the, uh, for the Mariners. And J.P. Crawford... Is going to bring him home. Home run number one for J.P. Crawford. And a two RBI home run. That'll give him a 4-1 lead going into the ninth. And that will end the game. Mariners win. After we draw level in the eighth. The Seattle Mariners absolutely blow it out of the water. With a three-run three eighth inning. And uh, honestly, when you don't play well... Uh, hitting, hitting the ball, that's what happens. Sims had a really good start to the game, but then started to give up runs and hits. And we only got three hits and one run. So that just shows you how poor our offensive day was. So Into the second game now. Here are the uh, lineups. Going to be a post commentated on this uh, just to make the video that, that little bit faster. So um, we'll see how we get on this game. I think when we started off the season, I was looking at possibly getting into the playoffs as a wild card, or at least contending for a wild card spot. 
But this game really showed me that we are not ready for that, and that we are at least a, a tier or two below those those teams. As you will see what happened in this game. And Carcion got a double early, and then Akil Badu would give them their first run. Even though that was a really good throw from center field, it wouldn't stop uh, Incarcion getting to to home. And J.P. Crawford joined the party in the third inning. And things honestly weren't going to get any better. And this would be another run for the Seattle Mariners. So that would be two and in three innings if North Syndergaard didn't get off to the greatest start. And then Cal Raleigh gave one, this one a ride. And Melendez would indeed not get it. So that would be run number three. Three runs, three innings for Noah Syndergaard. Syndergaard had a great year last year, but this was not a good inning for him as Ty France smashed one as well for his home run for a two-run RBI for on his first home run of the year. Then in the sixth, Ryan Yarbrough would come in. They would get another run. And then they would get another run as well. And then get another one again in the sixth. So Yarbrough would give up three more runs in the sixth. And we had zero offense all day. Like, I'm literally showing you our best highlights. We had some hits, but most of them were like infield hits or walks that don't really matter. That was our best hit of the day. Christian Arroyo went to uh, right field. And really, it didn't really give us anything. We we were dominated, and there's a reason why I really only showed you Seattle Mariners highlights, because they crushed us all day. Um, Syndergaard was out of the game by, like, the fourth inning or fifth inning, and he just did not have a good day. And we did not have a good day offensively, again. So we had six hits, and it looks like, oh, well, six hits, but we had no offense. There were, like, singles here, singles there, and we just be out next so four innings for for Syndergaard and he left up five runs in the third so just not a good day in the third game we had new pitcher Tyler Glasnow hit and this was a real pitcher's duel and a real boring one too as Julio Rodriguez would bring in one in the first and then in the fifth inning Rowdy Telez decided that he wanted to hit another home run so he brought us back level in the fifth after pretty much it being nothing but, you know, maybe if you walk here, a hit there. But most of the time, just both pitchers were really good. Glasnow and uh, and um, Logan Gilbert was the guy we were against. Then in the seventh, Josh Young gave them the lead. A 2-1 lead with a solo, home, uh, a solo homer as he got his first run of the day. Uh, first home run of the season against uh, Tyler Glasnow, I think, was still in the game at that point. And that's really all that happened. There were very... It was a complete pitcher's duel. A few hits here and there. And honestly... But I do need to do better in terms of just training and stuff. Like, there was only eight hits all game. And they were all singles. It wasn't It wasn't a great game. And I didn't want to show it in full. But Glasnow actually put in a pretty decent performance. You know, six and two-thirds innings and seven strikeouts. So that was a good start. But for our first three games, um, wasn't great. And I didn't want to put in a fourth one because we had been so poor. So I think I'm just going to go forward and simulate from now on as we put in a pretty small uh, video here for the first one. But that's all we have time for. If you like, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And uh, there will be more longer updates for um, the uh, the Kansas City Royals franchise in the future. Just uh, didn't really turn out so great in these first three games and it was kind of kind of boring. So I kind of cut it to shreds because um, I thought it needed to. Because, you know, hit, seeing a hit here and there and then people getting out right away afterwards isn't very entertaining but anyway um hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace out guys thanks for watching